Happy Sundays with Scout Day. I'm Amanda and this is Scout and we are with Blula. And today we are going to be doing a Thanksgiving Day craft. So of course we know that our Thanksgivings are gonna look a little bit different this year, um, but we still wanna be able to enjoy it, have fun with it, and we are going to uh, get crafty. So let's get started. Would you like your belly rubbed? Okay, I'm so sorry to ignore you. Ready? Are you tired? Are you tired? Murder, da, da, da. So we are going to be making centerpieces for our Thanksgiving Day dinner. Uh, so we're just using some things that we found around the house and outside of our house as much as we can. Uh, so this is an old repurposed glass jar that we are using from an old candle. We have some black paint that we had lying around, a paintbrush, and then we went to the store and we got some frosted glass spray paint. Um, we are going to be filling this with anything that we can find around the house. So acorns, pine cones, twinkle lights, flowers, anything that you guys think would look nice on your centerpieces that would match um, is more than welcome in here. So uh, what we did was we let the glass jar soak overnight so that we could take the labels off, get all the wax out of it, and it's a nice clean start for us. And the next thing that we're gonna do is spray it with our uh, frosted glass spray paint. So we're gonna go outside and do that so that we don't have the fumes inside and we will be right back. Ready, Scout? So we're back, we sprayed our glass jar with our frosted spray paint. We let it dry for a little bit so that it's um, dry to the touch. You can use any kind of spray paint that you want or you can just completely leave the glass clear. It's totally up to you. Uh, we're just using twinkle lights so I think it'd be really pretty for us to have that frosty look so that it's not so intense with the lighting. Use any color paint that you want. Get as festive with it as you want. Use glitter, I don't care, go crazy. Um, this is a super simple craft so any way that you can make it your own, feel free of course. Um, we're just having fun with what we have around the house so we are gonna go with black and we're gonna paint the bottom of his pot and we're just going to stamp it right onto the center of the jar. Time to get messy, buddy. Let's get messy. Ah! Good boy. Good boy, good boy, good boy. And press. And lift away. Oh, Scout, that looks so cute! Ah! We have our cute little paw print there you can do one on each side too so that would be super cute i think or even all the way around for now we're just gonna do one um i think it looks good good job can you give me a high five? Oh yeah black paint high five. Oh yeah that's so good all right let's get you cleaned up we're gonna let that dry and we'll be right back we are all clean paint is off paws are fresh so I would recommend using a washable kids friendly, am I boring you? Sorry. Um, I would recommend using a washable kid friendly paint. It's just obviously a lot easier to wash off. The only thing we have is acrylic paint. So that's what I ended up using. Um, and I also made sure to wash it off really well before you had the chance to lick it or touch it or get it all over my carpet. So we have some leftover pine cones from the Christmas tree that we prematurely put up this year, but we are still celebrating Thanksgiving, it's okay. So we're gonna fill our jar with our pine cones. We're also gonna put some twinkle lights in there as well, and we will have a cute little centerpiece. So let's do that. Let's go, you wanna put one in? Excuse me. Put that back in there. Actually, we probably wanna put the lights in before. So this is our centerpiece. It came out so good. We wanted to just do something that was super simple, easy to do on a budget, and something that will just give you a little bit of joy this season. So if you liked this video, I hope that you guys try it at home. Send us what you guys came up with as well. If you use different things, if you came up with different ideas, I want to see it all. Uh, share it with us at Blue Blog on Instagram, and we may... We're ready for a nap. <laughs> 
and we may even share it on our page this Thanksgiving. So if you would, please give us a follow at Blula Blog, that's B-L-U-L-A Blog, that's on all social media platforms. We are a wellness community where we give wellness tips for you and your dog, um, where we share our stories, our experiences, activities like this, safety advice, and more. So if you would, please uh, share with your friends and give us a follow, and we hope to see you next time on Sundays with Scout. But for now, we are gonna go take a nap. <laughs> Bye, everyone. All right, come on. Nap time.